students in this video i would like to explain some numerical problems related to the dielectric materials so let us start the problem so first one determine the electric susceptibility at 0 degree celsius for a gas whose dielectric constant at 0 degree celsius is 1.000041 okay so now first we will write the given data from this question given data right first they have given dielectric constant so generally dielectric constant will be represented by epsilon r that is relative permittivity which is equal to 1.000041 right what we have to calculate electric susceptibility to be calculated so electric susceptibility is represented by the symbol chi suffix e okay is equal to what so we have to calculate the chi e value so now let us see the relation between epsilon r and chi e okay as we know the formula see here epsilon r is equal to 1 plus chi e this is the relation between epsilon r and chi e okay we have to calculate the chi e so i am going to take chi e is equal to the one will go that side so epsilon r minus 1 so we have the epsilon r value here substitute that 1.000041 minus 1 so we will get the answer 0.000041 okay so this is the value for chi e right in another way also we can write that means 4.1 so 1 2 3 4 5 digits we have taken 4.1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 okay in this way also we can represent the answer but both are correct anyway you can write the answer right so now we will go to the second one so the second problem also the same i have taken for a gas the value of dielectric constant at 0 degree celsius is 1.000038 calculate the electric susceptibility at this temperature right so same formula same method so first we have to take the given data given data dielectric constant that is epsilon r is equal to 1.000038 and we have to calculate the electric susceptibility okay so formula required is formula required is chi e is equal to epsilon r minus 1 so write the epsilon r value here 38 minus 1 so finally we will get 0.000038 so this is the same problem but the values different okay for understanding i have taken the two problems right okay so next we will go to the another problem this is little different see here if the electric strength is 10 power 4 volt per meter due to a dielectric constant of 3 find the polarization vector okay so first we will write given data electric field strength okay that is nothing but e value capital e is equal to 10 power 4 volt per meter right and then dielectric constant is 3 so dielectric constant is epsilon r is equal to 3 right we have to find out the polarization vector so what is p is equal to okay so now formula required for this problem is we have to find out p p related to e and the epsilon r what is the relation so now epsilon not into epsilon r minus 1 into capital e actually p is equal to epsilon not chi e into capital e this is the relation for chi e we can substitute the value of epsilon r minus 1 in the previous problem we have discussed so i have written this so now epsilon r value is there and capital e is also there epsilon not what is epsilon not epsilon not is nothing but permittivity of free space permittivity of free space 
so in this chapter whatever the problem we are discussing most probably we will discuss this value okay so we have to remember this value 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter okay so this value you have to remember in some problems they will mention the value in some problems they will not so during the time we have to remember the value and then we have to substitute in this formula right so now p is equal to what is the epsilon naught value 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 right and then epsilon r is equal to 3 minus 1 and e is equal to 10 power 4 okay so by substituting this we used to get 8.85 into here minus 12 here plus 4 so it will become 10 power minus 8 and 3 minus 1 become 2 okay so finally by substituting all the values we can get 1.77 into 10 to the power of minus 7 the same way we can write 17.7 into 10 to the power of minus 8 in that way also we can write i just changed the decimal here and then coulomb per meter square this is the unit for polarization vector okay coulomb this is not centimeter okay it is coulomb coulomb per meter square so this is the final result for this all right so the formula required is p is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r minus 1 into e actual formula is p is equal to epsilon naught chi e into e but here they have mentioned epsilon r so instead of chi e i have taken epsilon r minus 1 okay so that i solved the problem like this okay go through that you can understand it calculate the polarization produced in dielectric medium of dielectric constant 6 where it is subjected to an electric field of 100 volt per meter and then in this problem they mentioned this value epsilon naught is equal to 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter okay same problem almost so now given data dielectric constant epsilon r is equal to 6 and the electric field is equal to 100 volt per meter and then epsilon naught also they have mentioned 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter okay so polarization only we have to calculate so the formula required for this problem is p is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r minus 1 into e substitute all the values here 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 epsilon r is 6 minus 1 into e is 100 right by substituting all the values we used to get 4.425 into 10 to the power of minus 9 as i said the unit is coulomb per meter square right so this is the required answer so same formula only different values okay next problem this problem is little different calculate the electronic polarizability of neon the radius of neon atoms is 0.158 nanometer and then they have given this epsilon naught value also here so first we will write the given data they have given radius of the neon atom so radius is represented by r is equal to 0.158 nanometer okay and then epsilon naught is equal to 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter what we have to calculate electronic polarizability so first we will write the formula required for this problem electronic polarizability which is represented by alpha e is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r cube this is the formula for electronic polarizability 4 pi epsilon naught r cube so we know epsilon naught and r cube value that we can directly substitute over here so now 4 into pi that is 3.14 we can write 4 into 3.14 into epsilon naught value also 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 
into R cube. What is the R cube value? 0 0.158. Listen carefully here nanometer. So, na nano means we can write 10 power minus 9 meter whole cube. Right? This is the conversion we have done. Nanometer into meter. So, by substituting all the values, we used to get the answer. 4.3 8, 6 into 10 to the power of minus 40 farad meter square. This is the alpha E value. Here how I am getting this unit is see here epsilon naught is farad per meter and R cube is nanometer that is meter cube we have considered right so if you cancel this we will get farad meter square that is what i have written here right so next this is new formula we have used so we have to remember the formula to solve this problem electronic polarizability if an ionic crystal is subjected to an electric field of 1000 volt per meter and the resulting polarization is 4.3 10 power minus 8 coulomb meter square. It's not centimeter, coulomb meter square. Calculate the relative permittivity of NaCl solution. Okay, almost the same problem what we discussed earlier, but here we are going to find out the epsilon R value. Okay, first we will write the given data. Okay, first one is electric field. Okay, so E is equal to 1000 volt per meter, right? And polarization they have given. P is equal to 4.3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb meter square. And then relative permittivity to be calculated. Epsilon R is equal to what? So already we know the relation between these three parameters. So what is the formula required? We know the polarization formula. P is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r minus 1 into e from this i have to solve to get epsilon r value here so what i am going to do p this epsilon naught and e will go down is equal to epsilon r minus 1 okay so now i am just going to arrange, rearrange the terms epsilon r i am keeping here remaining will go this minus 1 will come here so that 1 plus P divided by epsilon naught into E, right? So that epsilon naught value also we have tried here 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad per meter, right? Now substitute all the values in this 1 plus what is the P value here? 4.38, sorry, 4.3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 divided by epsilon naught value 8.8. 8.54 into 10 to the power of minus 12 into E value is 1000. Okay. So, by substituting all the values, we will get epsilon R is equal to 5.86. 5.86. So, this is the answer for this. Okay. This formula already we used to calculate the polarization vector. But now the same formula we have taken and then we just find out relative permittivity value. That only the difference. Remaining all will be same. So one more problem I would like to discuss. Find the polarization produced in a dielectric medium of relative permittivity 15 in presence of an electric field 500 volt per meter. The same formula. So as you know when first we will write the given data. epsilon r is equal to 15 and electric field is 500 volt per meter we have to calculate p okay polarization to be calculated so formula p is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r minus 1 into e so directly i am writing epsilon naught value as you know well 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 epsilon r is 15 minus 1 into e is 500 volt per meter so by substituting all these things we will get 6.198 into 10 to the power of minus 8 coulomb 
meter square coulomb per meter square right so this is the final result for this so please go through all the problems if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box thank you everyone